Hey everybody, thanks for being here. We got Bob on the channel. As you can see, Bob is a really large person. Uh, he's fucking huge. Um, I'm about six feet tall without my hair. So, um, yeah, Bob's pretty tall. Um, very strong. He's a brown belt. And so, in order to resist his uh, power, I got to do things... Um, use leverage to my advantage. Let's go back to the hand fighting there for a second. Um, you see, it, it's... I need to keep my weight on the... towards the front of my feet most of the time. I'm trying to create a lot of leverage on Bob. Um, so right here I have... Yeah, I just have to keep moving. A little switch step there. Just keep him from being able to drag me down. And the nice thing about... Uh, rolling with someone who's larger is that they have more momentum so whenever he, he had a hold of me there it was harder for him right there when he, it was harder harder for him to hold on to me because I just kind of like stepped back away from the, the force where he, our momentum was going right here so I'm just stepping back and I can break his grips even though Bob is very strong his grips are extremely strong I'm also looking to keep his feet off of me as much as possible and try to monitor them as I pass his guard and I need to alternate between going forward and back um, because I can't allow him to gen start generating, get underneath me and start to generate force one way or the other because it's going to be hard to stop that. Sometimes you just got to uh, bring your knees up and concede the bottom position and try to be dangerous that way. Connection is to the mat sometimes, especially like a Toriando. I spoke about, spoke about this in a couple previous videos. So, when I want to follow Bob, I'm disconnected from the mat. When I don't want to follow him, I am connected to the mat. Sometimes you have to. There's this connection right here. Slide that knee through, and uh, so I was controlling. Let's see how we got into this position. So I just have my hand on Bob's hand. So as he comes forward, I just move myself in a way that allowed my leg to come through and seal this triangle up there. Get a little better angle by grabbing his leg. Now, after I do that, I'm going to try and stay on the insides of his legs because he's going to try and... He has such long legs that he could potentially step over and just kind of shuck me off if he, if he can cross his legs or something. So I'm, as you can see, I'm trying to stay on the inside of his legs and then go this way. So this, yes, he's going to try shucking me off, but I'm going to sing inside, and now I'm over top of this leg, which is great. So now I can sit up, and um, eventually I'm going to start to fish underneath for this the, this arm to tighten up the triangle. But once I'm past his legs, that was the big that was a big danger, especially with someone who has legs as long as Bob's. And there we go. Once, uh, once he tr comes up, that's gonna be, that's gonna be that because it's very tight. Yeah, that was already on there pretty tight. So we have an arm drag and then a redrag, and I uh, <laughs> kind of just uh, yeah allowed Bob to uh, sit right into right into mount. Um, Sometimes there's just nothing you can do about something like that because Bob is huge and knows what he's doing. That's a great little maneuver by Bob. I'm not discounting his skill. So right now I'm trying to use the mat to defend. So you can see my, my connection is here. My bottom leg and this foot here. I'm going back and forth trying to kind of peel Bob away from me with the mat. And also using my weight to keep it from getting underneath uh, where I don't want him to be. I'm almost free, but he catches his knee right here. Now we're inside control. The nice thing about 
rolling with somebody who's a lot bigger is that the space, there's a lot more space to kind of rattle around in between their limbs as well, even though they might be st bigger and stronger than you are. Um, they have to cover, they have to seal more space. Like there's a lot of space in between Bob's legs whenever um, he's trying to maintain position. So here I'm leaning, going back and forth. You can see my hand isn't rigid. I'm just connected here and my energy is transmitted up through my hand because all the muscles are connected. So from here I'm going to try and stay heavy on Bob. Notice my connection to the mat with my feet. I'm trying to either dive over one leg or just make it miserable to try to hold me in this position. Now I'm, now I'm trying to dive this way making myself super heavy that way, and they're free. And so again, a little technical get up, and I think the round is about to be over. I'm just going to try and stand up at the end here. Bob has my leg, but I get underneath his chin, and that's the end of the round. Great round with Bob. Thanks to Bob for being on the channel. Check out uh, his his babbling about film. Uh, I'll include a link down in the description. Check out the Radical Store. Do the like and the subscribing. Hit the bell and come back and train. Welcome to the dungeon.